we started uh, meeting, David and I did. In the meantime, he had Ed James and Seaman Jacobs working on a pilot script. And he'd gotten the same guy who directed the pilot film for I'm Dickens, He's Fenster, Arthur Hiller, to direct the Adams presentation film. It wasn't a full pilot. It was a, a way to do a cheaper pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so it's not full length and uh, save a few dollars. And um, uh, so we met uh, frequently. And uh, I, I was puzzled, but how do you, how do you do something? Th these are cartoons which deal with an implied violence that is actually never carried out, but it's suggested. Now, if you're going to roll them, hmm. tell, you're going to have to follow through. Right. So how are you going to do this? It's going to be unpleasant and revolting if, let's say, you, uh, uh, you know, the cartoon with the molten whatever it is, <clears throat> the family's on the roof and they pour it, uh, or they, they have it ready to pour on the Christmas cowers down. <coughs> now, I know that when they did the, movie, the later movie that they, they did something with it. I don't know. I, I never saw the movies. I never saw any other version than what Why? I was in. Why did you never see the movies? I didn't want to get drawn into comparisons. I liked all the people they cast, but I didn't want to comment on it. And I didn't want to see it. So I could say honestly that I, uh, I, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. It saved me so much grief, you have no idea. Anyway, uh, how do you do it, though? How do you make this happen? How do you make it work? I mean, if they pour something and they're writhing and so, that ain't funny. Okay, it's just disgusting. But the idea is very funny. So I did my little analysis of the, uh, the cartoons, and they seem to me to be an attack on the cliché using the device of implied violence, but the violence is never carried out. Charles Adams is much far too tasteful for that. The idea was funny. And you examine all the cartoons. And the, the closest you get to that is uh, if they're in the jungle and there's a giant snake behind the woman sitting in a rocking chair on a porch in the jungle. Uh, uh, and, and there's a bulge, a huge bulge in the snake. And the woman says, oh, dear, stop fidgeting, or something like that. that or that's not exactly what she said, but it's close, I guess. But that's the only, that's the closest you get to, and there, you don't see anybody hurt. You just see the bulge. You don't know what it is. Uh, and uh, so, uh, you see, I think Adams was doing something else. I think what he was trying to do was wake us up to the wonder and joy present in all aspects of life and take us away from the cliché. And uh, I expressed these ideas to David and he agreed with them.